Kings, what's up? Welcome back to Passport Kings. Today on Passport Kings, I'm going to do my research before I start advertising a trip to South Africa. Engage! I'm Rockland. I travel the globe for leisure, exploration, and education about different cultures. Join me, and you too can be royalty. This is Passport King. Welcome aboard, abroad. Alright, so you guys probably know me by now. I'm Rockland. I host Passport Kings. I'm a travel agent, independent. So yo, I recently posted a trip called the Essence Durban Festival 2016 in Durban, South Africa. And yes, I would still love to be the agent for you or you and your group of buddies. So let me know by sending me an email at rockland at passportkings.com. But yo, in the midst of this historic event, I got a comment from a dude in the group. And he had a warning for me. But I'm gonna keep his name anonymous. His comment was, Blacks are still suffering in South Africa. Why would you send your money there? Maybe he meant spend your money. Check out Tariq Nasheed's trip there and it will wake you all up to what's happening over there. <laughs> they don't even want black girls to have afros. There's a big thing about it right now. Do your research before traveling. <laughs> Dude, to me that sounds like the same illogical travel fears that so many black people have. And that's why I always talk about it, make fun of it, but just try to walk you through it. Now, Tariq never said don't travel or spend your money in South Africa. As a matter of fact, I heard him say the exact opposite plenty of times. But y'all, I also heard him say numerous times that he doesn't want to be your leader. But if you must make him your leader, at least quote the dude correctly. And make sure when you're sharing the dude's messages that you're not adding your own little personal touches in there. Don't be sneaking your fears and sentences that that dude never said. Listen, I've been following that dude and his work for about a decade already. I fucked with Tariq Nasheed. And if he ever said we need to make South Africa off limits because of the political climate, I would have known. Anyway, this is the part that really gets me that I can't stand about your comment. You told me and whoever wants to travel again to South Africa to quote, do our research. The group you posted this in is full of travelers. We're constantly traveling the world and doing hands-on research. So you're urging others to cancel trips until more research is done based on the fact that you saw one video on the internet. Y'all, many people in this group has already physically been to Africa and many other countries in this world numerous times. But to entertain your concerns, here is my research. And being that many other people use Google every time they're telling somebody else that they need to do their research, I'll use Google for this too. Durban, a coastal city in eastern South Africa's KwaZulu natal province, is known for its African, Indian, and colonial influences. Durban's infrastructure got all updated for soccer's 2010 World Cup. The seafront promenade starts at Ushaka Marine World, a huge theme park with an aquarium, and ends by the futuristic Moses Mabhita Stadium. Durban is a city with strong Indian influence. In fact, it has a greater Indian population than any other place outside of India. There are 11 official languages of South Africa, including English. Fewer than 2% of South Africans speak a language other than an official one. Recent industrialization and urbanization have taken their toll on the South African environment. As such, agricultural practices as vlad fires, overgrazing of livestock, and intensive use of pesticides. Soil erosion and desertification are two more significant environmental issues in South Africa. More than a third of the people live on only 4% of the land area. The rules of apartheid were formally abolished in 1991, but most citizens still describe themselves as one of their four traditional categories. Approximately 80% of the population claim to be Christian, with the largest group of Christian churches linked to the African independent churches. Durban is more dangerous than Johannesburg, but much safer than Cape Town. Durban remains the third richest city in South Africa. 
Durban is ethnically diverse with mixed beliefs and traditions. Zulus are the largest single ethnic group. It has a large number of people of British descent and has the most Indians of any city outside of India. The number of black Africans is constantly increasing while the number of people in all other racial groups have been decreasing. Yes, there are black people who are suffering in South Africa, but they're facing the same institutions we face here in America. But nothing will stop me from traveling, especially to Africa. And as bad as black people are treated here in the States, I shouldn't be spending money anywhere if that's your reasoning for not going. So don't let negative reports from the media or negative reports from well-informed correspondents on the ground stop you from exploring the world. Yo, my philosophy is go everywhere and see it for myself. And you should also be thirsty for real first-hand research like a kid of Passport.